Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcon Star C, the home of the scale foamy jets. And here we have the MiG-21, my friends. Uh, finally, I'm available to do a video for you. Uh, it's been a long time since I post a video about the MiG-21. As you can see, it's actually farther along since last time you see it on the video. Basically, uh, I already built all the cut area on it. Uh, I'll flip it over later on to show you. But anyway, uh, my main problem really was to get them retractable landing gears to work. Uh, it, <laughs> it really was a, a headache to get them to work, right? Uh, I picked up these retractable landing gears on a festival that they did here in Georgia at the fairground. Uh, it was basically, it's like a smiley for the RC airplane stuff. I mean, everybody buying and selling RC gear, basically. You find anything from a, a flat 3D foam, you know, uh, airplane for uh, build out of blue foam, all the way up to turbine jets on that place, guys. I mean, it was humongous. They had three buildings full of RC stuff. So anyway, let's go back over here to, to the MiG-21. I got these gears over there. Uh, but I got the gears over there from some guy. I find the little knobs to hold the wheels on, on place from another guy and I find the wheels <laughs> from somebody else. <laughs> so basically find everything I needed on that place and I only spent 20 bucks basically on all three landing gears, uh, all aluminum bill, so they are lightweight. Uh, it was a uh, trouble guys uh, because I, you know, it was my first time really setting up uh, these big old landing gears. Uh, I always set up before landing gears, but they were you know, a smaller type for park jet really. Uh, this thing is a 0.40 and so anyhow first I tried two servos in here as you can see those two holes but I guess the wires were like a little bit on a U shape and I, it just was too much friction on it I guess and it wasn't working clean you know it, it was working with too much trouble so I pulled it out of there and I put just one servo in the middle a higher quality servo it had like thing it was about nine pounds of thrust on that servo and it didn't work either. It was it was working the same way basically, you know, because the wires again they were like on a U shape, so it wasn't working too clean. It it was getting stuck on some points, so I pulled it out of there and then I put it over here on this part right here, where you see this hole. But uh, it was sticking out about one foot of an inch over here on the wing, and I didn't like that because it, it was gonna mess up my airflow. Really not that much but i just didn't like the way it looked over there but the gear was working clean now so what i decided to do is basically flip the servo over to the other side and put it in there between the wing and the fuselage and it's actually a very short push rod uh, and it's working very clean now you know the gear is going up and down very clean both i did the same thing on both sides so i got my landing gears finally working i was about to give up at one point guys because I, I don't know how many hours i spent on that trying to get them weird landing gears to work fine. I was actually just going to pull them out of there and put a carbon fiber uh, cloth basically on the bottom of the plane and just do belly landings on it. But I mean, it's just too big for me to try to hand launch it on my own. So I just keep working on the gears until I got them to work right. I'm actually happy that I, I did it because I got it to, to work fine, you know. Here we have the front landing gear. This one was very easy to set up, I mean, straightforward quick setup on it uh, the only problem I'm, I'm looking at, at on this one is that this design right here is not allowing me to to have too much steering on it you see this is full right and this is full left already so I'm gonna require a big feel really to to taxi this thing around uh, it's really nothing I can do about it because this frame right here this aluminum frame uh, I don't know how clear you can see it but you see that is hitting already on the gold right there this square hits the goal over here already, that point right there, and that's it, and to the other side the same thing. What I actually like about it is that string that you see right there, you have like a little metal ball over there, right there on the middle. So basically if this thing on the grass or whatever, you know, goes to one side, it basically center itself up, you know. You put it to one side and automatically goes back to the center, you see. It automatically center. So anyway, it's actually on guys already. Uh, so let me go ahead and flip the switch over here so you can see them work. They are in and they're out and the front one is in and it's out. So let me go ahead and flip proper for you guys so you 
So, okay, my friends, this is what it looks like now. Uh, it's on the ground, and as you see, the whole top part is almost finished. Really, uh, almost ready for a last coat of lightweight sparkling. And, you know, basically do the paint job on it. Although I still have to build a bunch of things over here, you know, to get the scale look on it. This little, you know, it's like a little high over here and comes out all the way over here for an antenna, I think it is for radar system i don't really know what is it for but i need to put it there because i'm going to hide the rudder servo inside there i'm actually my rudder i'm going to make it a it's going to be removable as you see i pull it out right here so i'm going to leave it that way basically that i can pull it in and out uh i'm probably going to put like a knobs or something somewhere over here to screw it down in place so it'll be a little bit easier to move it around uh, anyway guys looking nice hey, i'm actually very happy with the result uh, my prop clearance is about three inches already uh, No, it's not three inches. I think it's two inches over here with the engine in place uh, I get like two inches from from the prop to the ground So I'm gonna have to be very careful when take off not to pull too much elevator because I'm gonna Break my prop on every takeoff. So I'm basically gonna have to let the flaps do their job for me You know let the plane race off the ground by himself and then work the elevator from there because you know yeah i don't really have much much to play with uh due to the prop size uh the prop i'm running on it is a 10 by 5 running on a 5 cell uh with a grayson hobby 0.40 glow to electric motor actually the the reason why i have to do emergency landing on the first flight on this plane guys uh you can find the video of the first flight on my channel uh the reason why the, the emergency landing was uh because the magnets inside the, the motor, I guess they weren't glued on place right or something, but they moved and actually some of the magnets came out uh, of the of the casing really, and they actually broke some, you know, on my prop, I don't know, you can see it very good over here, you see the prop broke right there, so I actually have to land that thing, basically glide it, dead stick on it, and you know, nothing happened to it, really was a very smooth landing, but anyway, I you know, I sent an email to the guys from Grayson Hobbing asking them, not for a new engine, but just for the magnets to replace them because the engine was fine. So, but they sent me an email back, you know, telling me that they don't carry the magnets. So they just, they asked me to send the engine back. And I did. And, you know, a few days later, uh, I got the new engine basically on the mail. So I have it already. I, I haven't tested yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to test it probably until I get this thing ready to fly again. But anyway, my friends, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, be patient with me. I, I try to keep the videos coming uh, a little bit more often now. I'm getting a little bit more time, so keep close, my friends. Uh, we get more uh, MiG-21 building action pretty soon. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you next flight.